Welcome back everybody, another video. Sorry about the audio quality in here. I am in the gym, which is an enclosed room and it echoes pretty bad in here because there's no flooring and stuff. But today, I am actually going to be finishing up the wiring in here so that I can actually start to use this space. So I'll be putting in the new switch and all of the outlets. That is going to be today's project. I also cleaned up the floor a little bit. It was really, really dusty. And this, believe it or not, I actually mopped. I vacuumed all the dust up first, and then I mopped. But it's still a little bit dusty. But anyway, I'm gonna be putting down half inch um, rubberized foam matting. So this will all be covered up shortly anyway. Let's look at what we got. I got a switch. This is just a dumb switch, not one of the smart ones. I have a bunch of smart switches that I just bought. I'm going to be doing some wiring upstairs. And I got a contractor's pack of these um, electrical outlets. These are 15 amp and they are tamper resistant, which just means that they're, it's harder to push things into them. Single pole switch. Single pole switch will go here. Outlets will go in here. There's actually nine outlets in this room. One of them will go up there as well. And then when I'm done, I'll put in, I forgot to buy one of those, stupid. Oh well, I need to go get a register cover. But I'll be putting in the recessed lights as well. But by the end of this video, I'll be able to turn the lights on using the switch. So that's very cool. Let's get to work. All right, so as we're gonna get into this thing, you're gonna need to cut yourself some 14 gauge um, Romex cut a piece like this. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna make pigtails out of it. So let me show you what I'm talking about with that here real quick. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna strip a little bit of this off. So that way you can pull these wires out. All right, so you got a long piece of black wire and you need the white wire out of it. Because we're going to turn these into about six inch pigtails. So that way we can make sure we have a complete circuit all the way through. So what we're going to do with these is, we're actually going to take, so you're going to take a measurement basically from your thumb to the base of your hand here, and then give it a little bit of extra space, and then cut them off. That's going to look like this. What that will then do is allow you to strip off the edges on both ends and create pigtails. So we'll need a bunch of these. All right, so I clipped them all. Now I'll be able to take these and make pigtails and show you what they look like when you actually are wiring this thing up. All right, let's get started. So we're gonna pull our wiring out that we have. So what you see are, you've got two white wires, two black wires, and then the common ground that you created already. What we're gonna do with this now is, you have to create pigtails and attach them here because this circuit has to continue. This circuit that you've already created has to continue and then travel on into the, you know, the downstream outlets that you've got set. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take these two pigtails that we created and we are going to wire these pigtails in with these and then crimp the, and then create little J hooks on the ends and attach them to our outlet here. So that's what we're going to do. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to take both of the wire nuts off. Pigtails that we created earlier we're going to crimp in or we're going to wire nut in like this. Okay, like that. Now you're going to do the hots, which are the black wires. Alright, so this is what you're going to be left with. It looks like a mess, but we're going to clean that up. 
what we're going to do is we're going to take these pigtail ends and we're going to put a little J hook on the bottom of them. So that way they go into the they go into the outlet better. Alright, create your little J hooks like that. Alright, now we're going to uh, tuck this wiring back in so that the only thing we have left are basically these pigtails to work with, which makes it a lot easier. So I'm just going to fold these up and kind of tuck them down out of the way. Then you can just push them to the back of the outlet. And then the only thing that you have sticking out now are the three wires that you need to connect to your outlet. So let's do that. There's a lot of other good videos out there on the internet that show you how to hook these things up. Um, so I'm not going to go over that in depth, but what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and show you're going to need to have the black wire, which is your hot. That is going to go to the brass colored wire or brass colored screw. You're going to have the copper wire go to the green, which is the ground. And then you're going to have the neutral, which is the white wire. That is going to go to the silver colored screw. And so I'm going to connect all these up real quick, screw them in, push the plate back on, and then this is done. That simple. That's your outlet, all installed. So someone asked me in the comments section in one of my other videos, how do we actually wire in a light switch that has power passing through it and then going on into another um, outlet? I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So we're gonna pull wires that we have already out. So on these ones you can actually see I've already actually created the pigtails on them and I wired the pigtails in. But it's very similar to just doing the, the regular outlets. You've got neutral, you've got hot, and you have your ground. There's actually three wires coming in here. One of them that is, let me zoom out real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. One wire is coming in that is from the outlet over here. It comes into the switch. There's another wire coming out that goes down to the next outlet. And then there's a third wire that goes up into the ceiling that is then going to be powering the lights when you turn the switch on. All of those are connected here. All right. So what you're going to see, let me see if I can get this a little bit closer, but what you're going to see here is those three wires. Let me turn this headlamp on. You're going to see those three wires, these two to the left, those are the power wires that are, that are coming in and going out, and then this wire on the right is the one that goes up to the overhead switches. Now if I pull these wires down, you can see these two are wire nutted together. These are the power wires. This one that is separate, this is the wire that goes to the switch overhead. So constant power continues from one outlet to the next. The switch is broken or switched on depending upon the position of the switch that you install. Hopefully that makes sense. It'll all make sense when you see it put together. Neutrals are all tied together. Those just continue through. Power, power, and ground. So the neutral just is a pass through. All right, that's how that works. Power, power, ground, neutral, just passes through. All right, I'm gonna wire it up. You'll see what I'm talking about.
So this is the switch I'm going to wire in. It has a green for the ground, and then you'll notice on here there's just two posts. Both of them are brass or copper colored, I guess. Brass colored. These are the two that you put to the power. So the neutrals don't actually get tied into this. Just power, just ground. Make your J hooks. Get your wires tucked back in here so that they don't make a huge mess. They're not sticking out everywhere. Alright, let's get the green connected to the ground. Now you can see if I can get out of the light. Now you get both of them connected and ground connected. Push these back in. So it should be good. Also, I forgot to mention if you look right on here, there's a little word. It tells you which side is top, which side is bottom. Right here it says top. That way, when you put the switch in, you don't know which way is on or off. All right, that's it, all done. Now we're pretty much on the home stretch. I'm just gonna go and grab the lights, the LEDs that screw up into these um, uh, cans. I'll plug them in, get them set to the correct temperature that I want them set to, because these ones are actually adjustable. And then I'm gonna flip that breaker on, and in about five more minutes, this room's actually gonna have its own light instead of me having to use this Craftsman LED lamp in the corner anymore. It's gonna be awesome, let's do it. So these are the LEDs that I'm putting in. They're Halo, five to six inch cans. These are actually the um, selectable color range. So I'm actually gonna set them to 3500K, see how I like that color, and then we'll go from there. All right, now it's time for the moment of truth. Let's go flip on the breaker and here we go. Here's the breaker. Jim. All right, let's see. Let's turn this off. All right, here's the switch, you ready? Yeah, nice. There it is. The lights are on. That is great. <laughs> All right, one last test to make sure everything's good. So this actually, this tester, you plug it in, and if you look on here, It'll actually tell you if you did it right based off of the way these LEDs light up. We're looking for two orange, one in the middle and one on the right. All right, let's check out our first socket. That is correct. All right? Perfect. Next one.
Correct. 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 All right. You know what? I'll go to the very end. We'll see. This one here. Also correct. Good. I won't bore you all to death. I'll go, I'll test them individually then. There you go. That's it. This room is all wired up. Now all I gotta do is just put the face plates on, put the flooring down, which I probably will do tomorrow, and then this room is ready to rock. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully it was helpful for you. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you next time.